Well, today is one of our big shopping days. We're uh, going to buy the gassing system. Um, so we're finally getting the gas put in here, the LPG gas system. So let's get a bit closer. <laughs> Can't both get in. So uh, that's where we're off to now. We'll show you it later. Daryl's already said that we're going heading off to get the gassing system. Uh, we're not going to be using that much gas. Um, it's really just for the cooker. It's a cheaper way of doing it. Yet again, I suggest that uh, you do a lot of research. There's several types of systems. The gassing system, gas flow system, uh, sure fill, all have their points and prices. So really, it's, you need to check it out. We've gone for the gassing. It's slightly cheaper. Uh, probably one of the, the cheapest ones, but uh, the reviews seem okay. The, as I say, we're not using it uh, a lot. It's not certainly not for the engine, the driving, all the heating. So it is really just cooking. So we're going go, going to go for an 11 kilo bottle, which apparently gives you 20 odd liters of gas. But the main thing is you can fill it up at any time. It doesn't have to be empty like Cala, and then place in the bottle and um, that's the beauty of either of the any of those systems uh, but again as I say do your research have a think and see what you uh, what your need your need is as to uh, which one you want to spend the money on it's an LPG system so it's a lot cheaper than color anyway isn't it it's about... yeah it's, it's an LPG system so you fill up across Europe um, most petrol stations in Europe have the, have the LPG now. It's getting more and more for, uh, common in, in this country as well. Uh, around here in Nottingham, it's, we've seen it for about 60p a litre. Uh, we won't be using an awful lot, but the flexibility of being able to just top it up as and when we need it, uh, rather than suddenly finding that we're out and about and have run out of gas. We're going for the um system, well, I would say the gassing system, but we're going for one that we're going to put in a locker in the garage of the, uh, the van, uh, as opposed to underslung. If you have an underslung version, it means that you've got to uh, have it, you have got to fill it up from outside the van, so you've got to have another hole drilled in the van for an attachment so that you can uh, plug the nozzle in. You can, you can do that uh, with the locker system. Uh, we've, the gas bottle has got to be in the locker and vented. Uh, for any leaks, but uh, where you put the filling uh, adapter is up to you. We, we've gone for one that's going to be inside the, uh, the vehicle. We didn't really want to be cutting holes inside or more holes inside of the, uh, the van, so we've gone for one that is outside the, the locker cabinet but still within the, uh, the back of the, the, the van. Again, um, it's, it's choices. The, 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 the systems are flexible enough to ha be able to do, if you want it straight into the side of the van, straight into the, the gas bottle, fine. If you don't want that, it's, it, it's again doing your research and deciding which is best uh, suited to your, your uh, needs. One of the other good things is that LPG doesn't freeze. Um, if you're going away and it's really cold, you've got the chance of propane. Will, yeah. won't work because it freezes so that's another reason because we do hope to go away in the winter quite a bit um, well this coming winter next winter whatever you want to call it we do one thing we used to do and i'll still do occasionally when we're in a vehicle is play pop master when it's on radio 2 on the Cambridge show so we're going to play it today for a bit of fun while we're moving along in this very slow traffic jam male singers or glam rock female singers or glam rock I've chose female singers, please, Ken. Female singers, okay. Seven Seas of Rye was the 1974 please. chart debut for which group? Queen. Here's right, there's your first three points. What colour features in the title of number one songs by The Beatles in 1966, the group Christie in 1970, yellow, yellow. and Dawn featuring Tony Orlando in 1973? I was going to say yellow. Yellow. They were all yellow. Submarine, Yellow River, and tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree with the titles. 
Bonus question, female singers from 1971. This is the debut chart hit by Olivia Newton-John. But can you name the number one hit she scored in 1980 with the Electric Light Orchestra? Saturday. John, her debut hit, what was her number one with the yellow? Xanadu. It was Xanadu, six points. Which group was credited alongside Tom Jones on the 1999 single Burning Down the House? The Cardigans. It was the Cardigans, yes. In which year did this week's top three have? Sideshow by Barry Biggs at number three. Don't Cry For Me Argentina by Julie Covington at number two. And Don't Give Up On Us by David Soul at number one. Oh, it's what? Yeah, right. It's 77. I'm oh, afraid. I'm sorry. Bad luck. Bonus one year question right. now. Female singers. I'm going to play you one side of a double A-sided number one hit by Connie Francis from 1958. Give me the title, please, of the other song. Who's sorry now? Show your age now. <laughs> Bonus question. Female singers. Please name the female singer who achieved her only UK top 10 hit with this song. Sunita? the 59th Street Bridge song, Feeling Groovy. Right. Anyway, Nick, very, very respectable score. 27 points. Well, that was round That's one. Good. I don't know what we got. Nice score. That lovely. Well, well, a lot of good questions answered there. So, you Well, this is serious playing Popmaster now because we've actually pulled up to play the second round because we're going to arrive at the destination before the game's finished. That's serious. Right, Jimmy Somerville, in front of the backing boat for us on that. This is your life. This is your quiz. And we're not holding up the track after all. Right. Okay, let's Here we see go. We've got glam rock or oh mine papa. Oh, wow. Glam rock or oh mine papa. You can hear us above the rain. Um, Let's go for all mine football. Okay, let's try that. Well then, David, we've got uh, 27 points to beat. That's the target today, so yep. good luck with that. And here they come. Hey. Hot match Eric Stewart, Kevin Godley, Lol Cream, and Graham Goldman have all been associated with which hit group? 10CC. You're right, three points. What type of hotel did Elvis Presley sing about on oh, one of his right. earliest hits? Heartbreak. Heartbreak Hotel. Yeah, yes. I'm Bonus getting these. question now. Right. Oh, mine, Papa. This is the last top 20 hit achieved by this group in the 70s. Can you give me the name of the group, please? Papa was a lone stone. Sly and the Family. Where the hat was Sly and the Family. And when it died, all it felt was alone. Who's that? I think it was The Temptations. It's exactly right. It was The Temptations. The song, Hole in My Shoe, was a top three hit in 1984. Neil. For which character from the TV series, The Young Ones? Neil. It was Neil, yes. yes. <laughs> well done. In which year did these three songs all reach number one? Welcome Home by Peters and Lee. 
Squeeze Me, Please Me by Slade, and the 12th of Never 72. by Donny Osmond. 1972. 1972. Oh, that's one year, yeah? <laughs> I knew it. 73. Ah, yes. Okay, here's a bonus question. Oh, my papa. Between 1971 and 78, this group achieved 15 top 40 hits. This was the fourth. Can you please give me the name of the group? I know the song. Who are they? That's sweet. It is oh, the sweet. Gosh. Yes, very good. Which American group first reached the UK top 10 in 2001 with their song Drops of Jupiter, brackets tell me? Train. I have no idea, Ken. Okay, they were Train. Oh, right. <laughs> What were Katrina and the Waves walking on, Sunshine. according to the title their 1985 hit single? Sunshine. Correct. Bonus question, oh, mine papa, in 1954, this song reached the top 20. Who's the singer? Papa loves Mambo. Oh, Mambo loves Mambo. Happen to fling again, younger than spring again, feel that sink again, wow. Uh, okay, so who's that? I think it's Perry Corbo. It is Perry Corbo. Excellent. Nice. Well done. And of course, it's being used in a commercial at the moment on the telly. Mm. Which 1998 number one for Boyzone was a song that featured in the Andrew Lloyd Webber and Jim, Jim Steinman musical Whistle Down the Wind? Oh, number one for Boyzone. Boyzone. Uh, 1999, did you say? 98. 98. Um, oh, I don't know what he's saying. No, I don't think no, no, it was no matter what. Of course. Okay, there you are. Well, um, it's a very tight competition, but uh, David, you've just done it with 30 points. Oh, well. 30. Well done, sir. Well done indeed. We but two great contestants today. I'm delighted. Yeah. So we've got some really good answers. I think we did terrible. Uh, I'm very sorry, Nick, but you're the one who has to drop right, well, out of the uh, On the move again, and nearly there. So, will we beat the lights? This is our local stockist that we're going to, so the, the guys at, uh, on the phone at Gasset themselves are very helpful. Um, put us in touch with these guys. Although we did do a bit of, have a bit of a wild goose chase uh, last week. They are the geese, what the heck? I don't know when you can see them. I think it was more them chasing us than us chasing them, but I did have to be about uh, trying to find a, a dealer. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> Just couldn't resist. But this is us. Oops. <laughs> We're being a bit sad. We've um, we've been and picked the gas system up and had a natter with them. Very nice company. We'll tell you a bit more later about them. But we decided we want a cup of tea. So oh, we've nothing in the van. Daft. Nothing. Not even a kettle yet so uh, we've pulled up in a lay-by uh, one of these little wagons just so we can have a brew and sit in the back of the van for a few minutes so a bit sad really but there you go. so this is our uh, <laughs> lay-by view of the brew so, I say a bit sad but uh, we're just stalling, stalling for time really because we just need to call somewhere and you know the person's not available for uh, a little while yet where we're calling Oh, there you go. Here we go. Nice cup of tea. You're loud on that. <laughs> no, you need to make some uh, mats for the lean laser. Oh, that's what dropped a screw. Yes, as I say, a bit sad. Stopping in a lay by near home for a cup of tea. Or coffee. Or coffee. Thank you. Well, we bought the stuff and everything's home. Yeah. Dogs are very interested, of course, because it's something to sniff at and look at. So uh, we just brought it in from the van. So we've got the gas bottle, 11 kilogram gas bottle, which, as I say, should hold about 22, 24 uh, litres of gas. A regulator down to 30 millibars. I've gone for an angled one so it would fit on 
the bulkhead a little bit better. The fill point um, that fits on somehow. Obviously, twists up. <coughs> Excuse me. Fit on on the the floor of the van. Right. There's a protection cover on it, and that's where the nozzle hooked up to the hooked up. You can get adapters for that for the different uh, continental uh, sizes. That goes onto there. I've got a pigtail which will take the bottle up to the regulator. I've gone because of the, the way the cooker is, the, the cooker it's a 10 mil fitting all the way through, and that's going to be copper pipe, um, which is fairly narrow bore, so it's easily uh, molded to the, the shape of the van. That's going to be all encased in a locker with a door on and a vent at the bottom to suit to uh, meet all the sort of regulations that we need to. Um, quite looking forward to getting this fitted, um, and then we're, then we're really ready Cooking. to go. There is a, a meter on it to show the how full this is. Apparently it works on a magnetic um, balance, I suppose. I don't really know. But they said these are, aren't very good at all. But they're there for sort of indication rather than anything. Uh, but we'll see. So that's, uh, that's our system. Uh, we went to the place at, in, just outside Nottingham. Um, done our homework and prices and everything. And this is one that really fitted our um, our budget. The guys are called Sail and Trail. Um, they do all sorts of things, generators, even for motorhomes, caravans, and uh, boats. Looking through the brochure, they even do LPG generators. Yeah, the generators, isn't it? So they they were quite helpful. Um, quite a lot of the stuff there. So again, we recommend them if you're in the area. Um, yeah, what's that's the, it. What's the website for them, Keith? The it's... website is sail s a i l and trail. .co.uk. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm just holding on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, but, uh, again, they're quite helpful. So, we've just got to get this fitted in, locker made, and then we're compliant with all our insurance pro uh, regulations or requirements to uh, be insured as a, a motorhome or a camper van. Boring. <laughs>